I love a tan. I feel so healthy. It looks so healthy. Oh. <laughs> My eyes look incredible to that as well. Good lighting. Mm. Right, we're off, yeah? Mm. Oh, don't walk there, Sandra. Why don't you? Alright, let's do this then. This is Fudge. It's very thirsty, look. His tongue's wagging. And this is little Jojo. Mm. This is our youngest Joe. He's Chihuahua, mixed with Jack Russell. And we're eating, so that's why they're just hovering around. And well, this is Fudge, he's a lot older. I've had Fudge for like 10 years. Fudge? Fudge, look at the camera. <coughs> oh no, he's not. Joey's moaning. Because he hasn't got any attention. No, if I give them a bit of food, they will. Fudge? I want to show you something quite funny. So Lauren is 32. And she forgets everything. Like today, she didn't take the key over to the house that we needed to go to. And she puts her phone down somewhere and is like, babe, where's my phone? And I'm like, it's next to you. She's like, oh yeah, there it is. But... She bought this. <laughs> she takes pills, like vitamins and stuff, and she forgets what day of the week it is. <laughs> so she has to, like an old person, put it in this tiny little... Here you go, it's dating, as you can see. It's not dating, it's got the days on. Yeah, so it's got the days on, Monday all the way through to Sunday, so she doesn't forget, bless her. But she still sets an alarm on her phone that goes <laughs> off at the same time every night to remind her to go over to her little stash of tablets and take them. But this is what she does on a regular basis every night. And I just thought it was funny because it reminds me of something like your nan or your granddad has when they get to like 80 or 90. Um, but yeah, this is uh, just made me laugh. So I thought I'd show you all what uh, Lauren gets up to. Morning guys. Oh, my phone. <laughs> Morning guys. Hope everybody's well and still staying safe in lockdown. Um, sorry for that noise. That was my wind wipers. Is it wind wipers? Wind Window, wipers. Windscreen wipers. <laughs> I'm just in my car driving around. So, um, yeah, it's Saturday and the weather is rubbish. It's raining after the beautiful weather we've had all week. And we've decided today that we're going to come out for a little drive because I haven't driven a lot all week. Here's Lauren. And um, that's enough of that. And um, we are now going to, we've popped to our mums, popped to Lauren's mums to yeah, pick up some, some Amazon bits. bits. I'll show yeah. you. Not too sure what's in there. She hasn't told me what's we'll in there yet. We have a big reveal. And then, um, oh, my phone's no. ringing. Oh, it's a sales number. And um, then we are off to Tesco's to buy Favourite some food place. because we've run out of stuff because we've eaten it all. And you can tell by my waistline. And then and mine. And Lauren's, she's on this whole like diet hype thing now. <laughs> she's put on like a pound. It's the end of the world. And then we're off back home because the racing is back on the TV. ITV have got the racing back on and it's Newmarket in Newcastle today so me and my friends have gone back to our normal Saturdays of betting some money on some horses the football or well, German football so I'm going to go home sit in front of the TV be lazy while Lauren does some cleaning wait for a fun vlog. and <laughs> I will show you the horses that I've backed and I'll, I'll like record the TV so you can see if they're winning or losing so my mood could either go up or drastically down today if I start losing and then we've got the quiz tonight whereas you all saw on my last <laughs> vlog how the quiz seems to go down I normally get really drunk and start just shouting at the screen like prawn and stuff like that like, get your prawn out which is completely unnecessary um, so yeah so we've got a busy day really for well I've got a busy day it's oh yeah, really busy. It's a rubbish busy. Saturday with wet weather. Like and subscribe. Oh god, I don't really know. Like and subscribe. <laughs> but if you could, that'd be amazing. We're now up to like one thousand five hundred and something, which is just absolutely amazing. Um, I still can't believe that we've got so many. I thought I was only going to get maybe like twenty, and that was just my friends. So yeah, we're doing you know buzzing. So please keep liking, subscribing, leave some comments, tell us what you want to see. But we'll uh, keep posting throughout the day so you can see what I'm up to, see what Lauren's up to. Hopefully you'll find it entertaining. Just Cheers, guys. Tesco, so we've bought an absolute load of junk again. So we've got our two litre bottle of Sprite because Lauren just lives off the stuff. She might as well be sponsored by them. She obviously had to buy this massive, huge tub. 
of Lenore. I'm not too sure who she's doing washing for, like the whole block of flats or just us, but it's, it was a fiver. So then I've got my beers, the essential part to our quiz this evening. I've got myself six bottles of Stella. I don't normally drink Stella, but they're on a deal for a fiver. And to be honest, I think if I have any more than six plus the Budweiser bottom in the fridge, I'll be a mess like I was in my last vlog, and that's not what we're going for tonight. I think my friends were ready to disown me last time. Got myself some lunch, chicken and bacon, little baguette, Subway thing. Lauren got, again, a really boring ham, no mayo, just ham and butter sandwich like the children would have. She got herself some Time Out wafers, because she loves them. A tiny, tiny loaf of bread for like, small people like small human people like i'm not too sure what you get out of this but i've got myself some sugar because or sugar and milk because i went to make myself a coffee this morning i had no milk and i had no sugar and i have two sugars in my coffee with quite a lot of milk we bought that got myself a bottle of coke but i've got no vodka to drink with tonight but leave that during the day laura bought herself some uh nivea soft hand creams or something of some description three pound these are these three pound like for they're this they're cheaper if you go to b and m or three or something. pound it was for this and it was like two pound 97 for this like it's a joke but she got them because she needs soft hands right but you know this is part of our meal deal and i obviously got a can of red bull we didn't get this from Tesco's. This is an Amazon delivery. This is Lauren's. Can I open it? And we, yeah. And we also didn't get this from... Uh, we got I these... Got, I got a bell. Oh, I can't show you. But I got a bell. It's not actually the one I ordered, but, you know, it'll be fine. But you're going to keep it? Yeah, obviously. It costs like £2. Cookies. Two for two pound. We love a cookie and they're lovely and soft again. So we've got the triple Belgian chocolate and the milk chocolate and orange cookies. They'll probably all be gone tonight. I've got a packet of Watsits. I haven't had a packet of Watsits uh, in ages. Yeah, like they make your breath proper cheesy. But it's like a day where I'm just going to be looking at watching the horses, watching the football. I'm just going to smell pure cheese. And um, <laughs> that's the trains again. The trains again because we haven't shut the window, so that's what you can hear. Nutri-Grain, these are Lauren's breakfast every day with chocolate in. <laughs> this is, we just got a chicken and bacon stone baked pizza for our quiz tonight. We just whack it in, get drunk, start hurling abuse at people, and then we'll eat that. And then, I don't know why she's bought these mini bread sticks, something to do with them, and they got seven calories or something in yeah, them. Yeah, seven calories per stick, I was not saying. And after all the crap we've bought, this is going to save our lives. Mini breadsticks made in Italy. Um, anybody watching in Italy? Hi, these breadsticks have come from you guys. Um, and they, they're seven calories because they tasted nothing. They tasted literally like paper. But we've decided to get some of them. Lauren got herself a crunchy. This is what I mean. So we've gone for the breadsticks, seven calories. But then she's also picked herself up some time out wafers, a crunchy. Yeah, but it's everything in moderation. Fair with. Dairy milk caramel nibbles. And these seven calories are gonna save us. Certainly. And then we got skin on fries by McCain. These chips are absolutely banging. Like yeah, you know when you are. go to a pub, like a gastro pub, and you get those like skin on fries, it's literally it's the same version. These are, these are the best chips we've had in a long time. And then I got myself a sharing bag of Maltesers that I will not be sharing with anybody. I'll just eat the whole packet. No fries, fat chunks. So this is what we bought from Tesco's, basically. And this shop cost us nearly 60 quid, wasn't it? No, no, it was 45. 45 pound for that. Like, absolute waste of 45 pounds. Yeah, but I'm sporting my new belt. Lauren's got this <laughs> belt. I don't know if you can probably see it. I can't see what you can see. And I ordered a phone case for Amazon too. Why? Because I needed, no, because it comes with three screen protectors. And if you look at mine, it's ruined. Yeah, you could have just worn screen protectors. You're never going to use it. Yeah, but it, just, it was just cheaper to get, yeah, I am, I'm going to put it on. It's just plain. Well, what about the cases I bought you for Christmas? Yeah, I still use those. Yeah, but now you're going to use that. And then there's little screen protectors in there, because it's just hard. It's just a plain case. Yeah. Well, oh. brilliant. 
So yeah, that's basically what we've bought and what we've done so far. I'm not going to put any of this away. No one's going to do it because oh, right, yeah. my first race is off in like five minutes, and I want to be firmly sat down on the sofa and watching it. So, uh. but if anybody wants, oh no, there's no point me giving you a tip because by the time this goes live, it would have been like. But you could do that in future. Yeah, I could. I'll share some tips with you, and we'll upload them maybe on the day, so then you uh, let them know. But well, if but... anyone's interested, let us know, and then we'll do it. Yeah, if you want to know what I'm backing, then let me know. Like I have. An all right strike rate, I suppose. Well, they can see how you do today and they see if they want a video yeah. before a race. I say I've done a right, I've just had one horse go and it lost. So it's not a promising start to the day, but we keep you posted on how the day's going. So this is me sitting, watching the horse racing. This is the first race since... Lo Lauren, can you be quiet? She's throwing stuff around. She's just throwing her toys out because I broke her cun crunch it. I dropped it on the floor. She's having, having a fit in there now. But this is the first horse race back on ITV since we've been in lockdown. I'm absolutely buzzing about it. That's not my horse. Um, what have I backed it? I've done Queen's Gift in this horse, this race. See, they're all all wearing their little face masks, making sure they're all safe. But I'm absolutely buzzing. And this is what I'm going to be doing for the day with my sub, with my Red Bull. That packet of biscuits down out. I ate them last night. What's it? There's Lauren. Fuming. Fuming about her. Crunchy. So, yeah. I'll keep you posted on how I get on, guys. So, second race second loser i had queen's gift she just got stuck behind other horses couldn't get past until the end and she started to come but too little too late so she lost so the next race i've got a horse called Derek. it's the favorite so touch wood fingers crossed as well that this wins come on midriff keep him going come on midriff come on midriff Come on, Midriff! Come on, boy! Keep going! Come on! It's 200 quid! Come on! Come on, Midriff! Yay! 200 pounds! Buzzing! Whoop da da whoop da! Winner! Derek just won at 2 to 1. Buzzing, just won £70 off that, don't worry. And I've got it in a lucky 15 as well, one of my mates. So buzzing, we're now on to the next race. So I absolutely smashed it. Oh, I'm buzzing. Yeah. So we've just had the last race. Well, not the last race, but the last race that we just did. A horse came third. So we are now resting all of our hopes on a horse at 240 at Newcastle. It's called Espinlini or something like that. Um, and if that wins, we'll get like maybe 150 quid back that we can use for the other races for today. So, but we've still got plenty in, plenty to run. We've got another four or five to run. So, so far we're not having a bad day. We're set, we've made 70 quid um, and we've got plenty to run. So I'll keep you posted, but at the minute, it's not been a bad first day and our football's just started, so we've got our football bets in place. So, at the minute, my mood is okay. Jim, yes, come on, Palace! Yes! It's another hundred pound. Yeah, buzzing! Hi, everyone. Uh, so, it is now Saturday night and it's half past five. We've sat down to play cards, our typical Saturday night little routine. I'm currently losing. But one thing I didn't lose today at was the horse racing. Absolutely buzzing. You would have seen my celebrations through this video. So me and my friend, um, we like bet with each other. And uh, today we decided to put £80 in each. And we gave each other like which horses we liked. And so far today we're up to around, we've won about £450 so far, with one horse left to run, and if that wins, we get another £172. So, it's been a very good day overall, so fingers crossed that this last horse wins, and if it does, then I'm sure that you'll see my celebration. Um, and now we're just getting ready for the quiz, so we're just playing a bit of cars, playing a bit of music, and that's it really. 
Um, and we watched the news earlier and saw everybody out um, doing the whole Black Lives Matters march. And uh, in London, there were thousands of people, which is good to see. It's an important thing. And what happened to George Floyd is obviously a terrible, terrible um, tragedy. And those police officers deserve to be sent down for a long time. Um, it's good to see that everybody was wearing face masks as well in the march today, keeping themselves safe. And then I also saw this whole thing with Madeleine McCann. It's good to know after 13 years, we may find the girl. She may come out of a cave or, uh, fingers crossed she isn't dead, but... They think she is. Yeah, they think know. she is. Um, but 13 years, they may have found this person, which I find horrifying, the fact that this person was one of like 600 suspects when it first started, and they never, ever, ever interviewed him or anything like that. And I think now 13 years on, they may now have answers. I just think it's absolutely ridiculous. 2020 has thrown up coronavirus, the George Floyd death, and now they might have found the killer or the abduct person who abducted Madeleine McCann. But this year can't really get any worse, to be honest with you, can it? No. So let's just, best, let's just hope that we have a very beautiful summer, that we can all get back into pub gardens and all of this basically stops, well, fingers crossed anyway, and that my horse racing winners just keep on rolling in. But what we're doing is we're going to set up for the quiz in a little while. And um, <laughs> just, I thought I saw something on the wall. Um, we're set up for the quiz and then you can watch us basically shout at the TV screen. I think uh, the person that's doing it, so I think it's like quite a lot about music. So it should be quite fun. And those that are watching these vlogs, we've done quite a few of them now. Please tell me if you're getting bored of them, let me know. And I'll just mix it up a bit and I'll stop doing it. Uh, but they seem to be doing quite well. But if you do like them, let us know. Drop us a comment, subscribe, anything like that. It's always helpful. And again, if you want to see a video, give us some ideas. Like We will literally do pretty much anything that you want us to do within reason. So just let us know. Drop us a comment, like the video. Try and bring some more different content with you. We've obviously got a wish haul coming up. We've been waiting ages to do this wish haul. I was talking about this about six or seven videos ago, um, and I'm still waiting on some stuff. Um, yeah, we might just have to record it without everything we think, don't yeah, we? Yeah, so we may have to just record it with a, with a few missing items, but that's not a problem. At least then I can give you an honest answer of not using wish. I'm thinking about doing a giveaway when we do our next haul. Um, I'm not too sure what that haul will be yet, but whatever it will be, there will be a giveaway. If there's anything you want us to haul, again, let us know, because a voucher will come from that place. Mm. So if you fancy and you your luck at an ASOS voucher or a yeah. Zara voucher ASOS, or anything, Boo, let us know. Zara, TK Maxx, anything, let us know what haul you want to see us do and we'll get the voucher from there. Uh, but apart from that, please keep liking and subscribing. And well, we'll let's get going. Oh, no, I need tonic. Hold on. <laughs> oh, for <laughs> sake, Becca. <laughs> That's the right there when I put them in. Woo! Celebrate quiz time. Celebrate quiz time. Everyone there, everyone ready? Born ready. We've been ready for an hour. Pens and paper at the ready? Yeah. Right, let's go then. Round one. Order, order. So what I'm going to show you is four um, kind of releases. You've got to order them from the earliest release to the latest. And then you need to, if you want to get an extra mark for each one, you can put the year they were released, that's so possible five marks for each question. Okay. All right? Yeah. First one. Hang on, I haven't actually got paper. Oh, for f sake, Becca! How do I, can't see the name on that top one. What does that say? <laughs> so you've got Dirty, Genie in a Bottle, Candyman and Car Wash to order them. And then each will be released if you want to get an extra mark for each. Okay. Don't think they've been um, testing themselves on Christina. No, we haven't. <laughs> okay, next question. So this is, can you order these 80s singles? Oh. Hello. Who have you given on a prayer? Michael Jackson. Nina, 99 Red Balloons, and Walking on Sunshine, Katrina and the West. That's the only one that we slightly struggle with, but I've got three names from the Sugar Babes, I just don't know whether they left. 
You can have, there's six names to have, but only three of them left. Right, I've got three. I don't know if they all left. All right, okay. Number one. Mutia Keisha Siobhan. Oh, so we had yeah, Mutia and... Mutia. We had Mutia and Siobhan. We didn't have... All right. <laughs> <laughs> okay, then the original yeah. Right, number two. Singles by the Beatles. Any one of those? Or three of those, even? Yes, they had a big beat. I'm only so filled, isn't it? I've written in my hand. You're so red. Okay, you're all done? Love, yeah. Three, three UK Christmas number ones. There's up to 1960. Wow. Yes, I love sausage rolls. I thought I got that. I love sausage rolls. Yeah, it was the most recent one. What? Yeah, they, what was that like? Because they both challenged the expectation of Charlie. That's ridiculous. So there's Band-Aid, 